Welcome back to the introductory series of orthographic drawing instructionals. In this instructional we are going to try and cover just some really basic principles of orthographic drawing. You can see here with the uh, image that we've got of the capsicum, taking a view that three quarters from and looking slightly from the top, most of the things that we, we see and, and take photos of will always be in this kind of somehow three-point perspective. When it comes to representing things accurately and to scale, you can't always draw things in a three-dimensional perspective way because simply three-dimensional perspectives are really never to scale. We always typically break down the views of three-dimensional objects into planar views. From those planar views we can produce scale drawings that are, have true length and that can be replicated or manufactured. So here we see, I guess, a more planar view of the capsicum. We're looking straight down, and when we are sort of looking more perpendicular or, or in parallel to the plane of view, then we can actually start to get proper dimensions off it. So here's a very simple top view drawing. It could be the equivalent of a roof plan of a building, but it just sort of shows the general outline and geometry of that capsicum when viewed from the top. Same from the sign. Here we have a, a quite a plain, planar view looking from the sign. And again, the drawing over the top of that, which would be like either a side view or in terms of a sort of architectural view, an elevational view. Now here's where we start to get some of the more, I guess, unreal views. Those are where we start to slice objects open. For building plans and so on, we tend to draw in these unreal views in the plans in the section. So we can see the organisation and how the space works inside a building. Plan view or a plan uh, cut view is simply just a, a cut through the object at a certain height above the ground plane. So you can see here the cut through the capsicum translated into a very simple outline drawing. A lot of the techniques of orthographic drawing can be a little bit difficult to read because they are, I guess, unreal drawings, but some of the techniques that we use help make the drawings read a little bit clearly. Now in this instance we have firmed up or given a, a heavier line to those parts of the capsicum that are, are cut, but those parts of the capsicum that are, I guess, still in elevation the bits that aren't cut, we keep those in a thinner line and we can enhance this effect further still by adding a hatch to the areas of the cut. We can also take a vertical slice through the capsicum and this is commonly what we call a section. So again here you can see quite clearly the bits of the capsicum that have been cut but we can see some parts of the capsicum in elevation which are also part of our field of vision. The drawing that we make from that you can see profile or outline of the cut section as well as the detail of the elevation in the distance. Like the plan we are trying to emphasize what has been cut and we do this through thickening up the external lines of the, the cut and then we can enhance that further by putting a um, hatch across that. So you can see here's the assemblage of the orthographic drawings that we have created from the capsicum. We have the top view and the side view. Side view are always, uh, often referred to as the elevational view. And then I guess the unreal views. The plan which is a, a section cut through the capsicum parallel to the ground plane and then the section cut which is like a slice through which is perpendicular to the ground plane. The other thing to note is that when we produce orthographic drawings, uh, typically they, we do produce them to a scale. The capsicum drawings that we have been showing here are more or less at one to one scale. They're the size of a real capsicum. The scale one to one means that one millimeter on the capsicum equals one millimeter on the drawing. Now for objects obviously that's very easy if they fit onto the page but architects tend to do work with objects that are much bigger that will fit onto a page. So we work to a scale. You can see on the left hand side is a smaller uh, rendition of the drawing which is half the size of the capsicum. So it's a scale of one is to two. So one millimeter on the drawing equals two millimeters in real life. And on the far right hand side you can see the other side of the spectrum where we have increased the scale so that it's double the size of the capsicum and therefore two millimeters of the drawing equal one millimeter of the capsicum.